for everyone, especially if your fiancé dies on the battlefield, but his brother returns. That's what happened with 16-year-old Jenny. Uh, and then a passage from the book. Both of my morning dresses were, uh, were threadbare at the elbow and discolored along the seams. Hardly any of my original buttons and neither of my original collars remain. It has been more than two years since I've owned anything new, and that pretty much describes Jenny. And then Will dies and Quinn returns with only one eye intact. He claims that an enemy soldier got him, but Will protected Quinn, and the enemy took Will and got Quinn's eye. Though what Quinn's, though that's what Quinn says. How does that explain the choking sensation Jenny feels at every night? How does that explain the heart on the window? Jenny knows what Quinn claims isn't true. Picture the dead is about 16-year-old Jenny and 17-year-old Quinn, along with their dead brother, 16-year-old Will. Jenny is confused about Quinn's claims and Will's spirit's hints. She knows Quinn lies, but she needs to know the truth. She finds another soldier who had died, and his captain had lied about, the tr about where and when he died. She found out the same thing happened with Will. The, uh, she presses Quinn until he, finds an, until he finally tells Jenny the truth. Quinn killed, when, Quinn, bleh, Quinn killed Will, but before he died, Will stabbed Quinn's eye. In the end, after Jenny found out the truth about Will and Quinn, uh, Quinn tries to kill her. And then from the passage from the book, um, then Quill dips for and kisses me, licking the blood from my split lip down my chin before he pushes me backwards over the bridge with such a brute force, with such a brute intention that I heard the splintering of the and the crunch and snap of wood of, of wood railing as I lose balance and fall. Quinn goes back to the house and his parents, uh, back to the house and his parents, happy that Jenny was dead. Amazingly, though, Jenny survives and follows Quinn inside to prove that she was alive. Jenny wants to take her maid with her because she, because she wants to leave the house for good, but her maid doesn't want to come along with her. Eventually, in the end, though, uh, her maid finds Jenny and lives with her.